You know, a lot of people ask, why Utah? You know, Apiary Fund is this global financial company. We do business on every continent. How is it that you come from this little podunk state called Utah? You know, what most people don't realize is that Utah actually has a very rich uh, financial history. Uh, they've led the charge in financial development, in financial technology, all the way back to its 1800 roots. In fact, it was Samuel Newhouse back in the late 1800 that established the Salt Lake Stock Exchange. It was only the third stock exchange west of the Mississippi. Uh, closely, I mean, it was neck and neck with San Francisco. They, they established their stock market a year before the Utah stock market was established. It created an environment where companies like Bonneville Communication could develop technology, global satellite technology, that, was, uh, that could be used to transmit data from New York and Chicago all across the world. With this new satellite technology, financial firms in Utah and, and west of the United States would literally have a front row seat. Uh, it's as if they were in the pits in New York and Chicago, seeing the data happen real time and uh, be able to analyze it and make decisions on the spot. One of the early fintech pioneers was a, a guy by the name of Steve Akalis, who, who uh, grew up right here in, in Utah. You know, he recognized early, back in 1980s, that you could take this data and distribute it to the masses. Um, and so he started coding a program that's, uh, that's called Metastock, which even today, you know, is, is one of the premier financial visualization softwares in, in the industry. So I guess, you know, Utah has a, a very rich history in the financial industry. You know, leading the, leading the charge in technology development, uh, you know, incubating opportunities for a lot of financial companies, which has created an entrepreneurial spirit uh, where companies like IBFX, uh, Lendio, even our company, the Apiary Fund, uh, has a has a great place to establish its roots and to grow all from this little state uh, little big but uh, relatively unobscure state called utah <laughs>